Let me ask you another question about something that happened over this past weekend. William Regal took to Twitter, I'm not sure what prompted this, and had several comments about his departure from AEW. Now, this has been a hot-button issue amongst wrestling fans, specifically AEW fans, because the booking got so weird. The departure of William Regal from AEW and the return to WWE. Have you been following this? Well, I saw that he was on Twitter, and he's trying to clear his name because of, uh, apparently now, he doesn't get on Twitter much. Imagine that. Boy, we could all hope to aspire to that lifestyle one of these days. He doesn't get on Twitter much. It's the perfect place to go to solve your problems. Good idea, William Regal. Well, but he didn't get on Twitter much, but he got on Twitter the other day, and apparently the AEW fans... Because remember, we reported on what was going on with the comments that Tony Khan had made. And apparently the AEW fans are still pissed at poor old William Regal for bailing out of that lunatic asylum in whatever fashion he did, and they're blistering him for doing so and taking advantage of Tony Khan's good nature. So he went on Twitter to try to clear his name of any wrongdoing and taking advantage of Tony. Well, that you kind of just hit on one of the big things, because I'm trying to think of the timeline now. Word came out that William Regal, I think we may have been one of the first shows to say it, but William Regal was yeah. going back to WWE, and then it became such a big issue that Tony Khan was asked about it, I think maybe a Ring of Honor press call or something. And that's when we found out about Tony's mother being ill, because Tony decided to tell us that story. Yes in conjunction with William Regal's departure story. And remember, it was one of those deals where Tony took 45 minutes to fucking say hello. He went around his elbow to get to his wrist, went back and forth, sub-referenced numerous things, and finally came out with that story, and we were remarking on that, but apparently, because of the story that Tony Khan told of how this all happened... <laughs> that now poor William Regal is having to defend himself from the AEW faithful who are accusing him of taking advantage of Tony in a moment of crisis, which we joked about. But the point is, apparently these fans are not happy that William Regal managed to escape the zoo without letting any of the chimps fling feces upon him. He was able to get there See that the it wasn't all sunshine, lollipops, rainbows, and waterfalls with what was going on and extricate himself from the situation shortly after the Triple H took back over and he thought that Mr. McMahon was gone, I assume like we all did, for good. Well, what a lot of AEW fans, I think, are jumping on is the idea that he said he wanted to leave, or at least Tony... I think Tony's the one who said Tony that. said all this. Yeah. He didn't say anything. Yeah, well, Tony said William, that. William, William Regal never said anything. <laughs> Tony Khan spilled his guts <laughs> in that press conference and told all about his mother's health and Regal's reasons that he gave him for wanting to go and spend more time with his son, and it was a family thing and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what that's I was going to say. That's the whole story that Tony has said on behalf of William Regal. And there are fans pointing to the fact that Regal is not right now with NXT, not working with his son. He's doing things with WWE, but not there. As being, what the hell did you really tell Tony? What was your real intentions? But again, I have these tweets Well, here. now we do not, well, I, I'm going to let you read them in a second, but we do not know that they're letting William Regal do whatever the fuck that he wanted to do originally in WWE slash NXT now, because now Vince is back. And he's the one that fired Regal the last time. So maybe Regal didn't get to go to NXT where he wanted to go. They sent him somewhere else because Vince was like, well, I don't want to. Whatever. But anyway, read what, what Mr. Regal, Lord, his lordship, tweeted. Maybe he could tell Vince that he wants to go back to AEW, wants to be close to his daughters, and he can go back to the Blackpool Combat Club. But here are the <laughs> tweets here. Again, I don't know exactly what prompted this, but this was from. The 22nd, which was Saturday. Just so anyone who wants to know the truth, I know Tony summed up a few conversations we had with quick answer. FYI, Tony called me at 9 p.m. 
on a Sunday night, and I discuss my reasons for leaving, where time spent, where I want to be. Let me stop right here. I'm reading it as he wrote it. I think later on he apologizes for some spelling issues. He certainly should. Then, and I only then, did he tell me where he was and what problems he was having. I told him to get off the phone and take care of his family. He shouldn't be talking to me. I also realize he has summed up conversations with brief answers. I wouldn't call those answers brief. We eventually talked about me leaving two weeks later in Jacksonville. Time and time spent were the reasons for my leaving. <laughs> it's like prison time spent. <laughs> I thought it was time served. <laughs> time and time spent was the reasons for my leaving. Did he get time off for good behavior? No agenda for anything else. I have lived through some serious times in 2018 and 19, and I realize this is all I have. Let me go to the next tweet. I had a great time in AEW and are thankful for the time I spent there with many of my close friends. <laughs> oh, I should be laughing. I'm sorry. Well, what's and, funny about that? Well, just, and are thankful got me. I'm sorry. It took me a second. I had a great time in AEW and are thankful for the time I spent there with many of my close friends. <laughs> and, and Yuta. Many of my close friends and the amazing crew. I just want to make that public so people stop misinterpreting it. It's sad that people in our job can't realize that you can be a decent human being without having an agenda or taking advantage. This is the last time I will mention this. Again, I would like to thank AEW for their gracious acceptance of me and for Tony to take me on board. And just so you know, there's a few spelling mistakes in my last tweets, but I spent too much time at school daydreaming of being a pro wrestler. AEW, we are very kind to me. <laughs> and I enjoyed my time there. I made the most of my time there and never, this is in caps, never double-crossed anyone. Well, there you go, AEW fans. So lay off his lordship. What is causing this now? I mean, he's answering all the things we all talked about months ago. I mean, is it six I honestly, months ago? I, no, I honestly believe, well, I don't know if it's been six, maybe four, but I think he probably just got on Twitter and saw a bunch of people say, how dare you do that to Tony? We love Tony. How dare you do that? You left us. He's like, what the fuck? So there you have. See, the problem is, even if you want to believe him, even if you want to believe him, it's still like, here's half the story, and now I won't say anything else no matter what. Okay, if we're to believe you didn't take advantage of Tony, if we're to believe that your real intention was, I want to be close with my son, I want to go back to WWE to do that, then talk about when you came to that conclusion. And all this Moxley drama that we now find out about, was he in the middle of it? That's the other thing I want to know. And well, I demand I answers. I and I demand answers. <laughs> God damn it. I think Regal is, is, his feelings are hurt that people think ill of him over that. And, and the reason why people think ill of him is because of what Tony Khan said as he stood out there with diarrhea of the mouth and constipation of the brain for about 45 minutes talking about it, saying all the things that we made fun of. And then giving Regal like a, it's like a choose your own adventure book where they gave him three different send offs and pick the one that applies to you. What? So Tony again, botched a situation that he was in over his head about. Do you think to make it up to William Regal, they should give him another send off? I don't know. I think they ought to just say, why don't we have a fan voting on which one was the best one? And we'll just erase the tape of the other two. If William Regal goes back there and then finds out after the fact that not only is Vince still completely in charge, but he's never been more in charge before in his life, do you think Tony would take William Regal back? Only if his son comes with him. Ah, interesting point. The whole family. I think I ought to make a package deal. 